into the auditorium. Sugar ceiling. Well, let's come down from the great chandelier. Looking at the Sugar ceiling, it's very impressive, isn't it? Let's move down by the auditorium. The Casino Arch. Curtains are down. Let's just sweep across to show you. How impressive it is. Impressive curtains. It actually looks better on the film than it does in real life because it's just painted. The ceiling intrigues me. Here's a shot from the back of the auditorium. And we were sitting just there in the front. So having come upstairs we Entering the vestibule. Look at those bats, no notice them before. And into the main hall. So we're going to see. And we can avoid knocking the um, exquisite. As you can see, over here, there are quite a few. Okay, I'm going to walk down this main hall. To... Sorry about the bumps, but uh, I'll try and make it as even as possible. Just showing you the magnificent ceiling and decorations. <laughs> Nothing like it, is there? You know, the acoustics may not be so good in, as in the new Bastille, but hey, look at the decoration of this one. favorite opera house in the world and I live in Sydney okay I've reached the end to the right by the way there's a, that's onto the balcony that overlooks the square in front of the opera house That is where we've just come from. stand in the middle and give you a roll over pan of the paintings of the sea. You can hear the people walking past the other side. That's what I call the Sydney Bin Opera House. 
Well, at first I thought that these uh, masks in the corner were sort of the laughing and crying masks of a normal theatrical decoration, but uh, they're not. They're all yelling and looking rather unhappy. And I walked around all four corners and I can assure you that they are all looking extremely unhappy. I mean, check out this other one over here. Yeah, he doesn't look too pleased either, does he? Well, there's more naked flesh, at least under oil, in this place, than in the Folly Berger. Anyway, they all seem to be having a gay old time of it. While we're at it, I'll just dash out quickly onto the main square. The balcony being on the main square. There you are. It was a rubbish day, but. That's the view. Ooh, it's cold. Let's get back inside. Well, here we are in the second lobby, the, on the way out of the hall, where the centrepiece seems to be lizards, uh, long neck dragons, or something. No doubt somebody will write and tell me. Anyway, let's continue. Well, as you come out of the lobby, you get this quite magnificent gallery that runs round three sides of the main staircase. Check out the ceiling. Oh, mosaic. Actually, I've seen this ceiling, mosaic ceiling, rather ignored before. And in fact, looking at it, I've been as guilty as that, it's really worth uh, close to examination. Let's just look at one of the panels. It's really very well done. There's that mask, like Medusa. Sorry. Here's a shot from the balcony. I'm on one of the balconies that jut out over the main staircases. Get some idea of the scale there of the people walking down. Let's be honest, you imagine this is with the tourist there, but it's an amazingly glamorous place. But either going to the opera, but certainly for being seen. Here we are, down. It's a long walk down there. Let's go and do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's descend the staircase of the Palais Garnier. Avoiding people posing, stopping at the staircase to pose so Helen can take a photograph of me, and then walking down. 
I wouldn't like to do this in hard leather shoes and high heels. Uh, and here's another horde of people coming along, but we'll continue. You've got to say, it's impressive. We're being shepherded out a side door. I'll just turn around here and show you where we've come. As Helen descends. And we say goodbye for the lovely guys.